three, you know, Gurudev. Uh, in that time, Gurudev in <coughs> festival in her. Uh, yeah, this oh. That time also I came here. That way, just time I connected flight, no? Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, everywhere, USA, also Mexico. Yeah, Mexican Prabhu. <laughs> huh? Mexican Prabhu. Huh? Chile Prabhu. <laughs> Chile. Chilean. Huh? Many times. How many times? Chile. Uh, four. Five. Four. Five. five. Four, five times. Four. Everywhere. And Holland, even uh, Holland many times. Six times, <laughs> six times. Six times. Six times. Yeah. Okay, I was staying here. Their house also very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now they are coming from here, so I am also running behind to them. Uh, once, once one devotee asked to Bhaktivan the Sai Maharaj. Well, why have you come in Western country? Because you are here, so far bigger I am coming here. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> that means, Bhakti Yoga means how to practice the devotion and service to Lord. And if you practice the Bhakti Yoga, then you direct connect you with the Lord and attend to avoid to Lord. But you try to understand these things. You are not the resident residence in this material world. You understand? And you actually you are the residence of transcendental world, Golok Vrindavan. And just I just our Guru Bhargas explain, remind to you, you back to God, back to home. And all we are travelers and traveling different, different. And world, not this world. And also, all we are traveling different, different bodies also. This. Eh? So, try to understand, we are not this body, we are soul, Atma. Soul, that is called the part and parcel of Lord. Mami Vangsa Jeeva Luke, Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. Atma, soul, that is called eternal and transcendental. Soul reside this body, this body is working. And when soul goes out this body, that time we are saying that is called death, dead body. Dead body. Eh? Who died? Eh? Body. body died. Eh? How possible body died? <laughs> because the soul is gone. Just I use this word died. Birth and death, eh, just this, just we are using this word. Eh? That Sanskrit word that is called Janma and Mrittu. Eh? When soul comes in this body, this body is working. And this body also took birth from the womb of our mother. Eh? Or when soul goes out, that time automatically five <coughs> elements of this body automatically were eh, goes out. And you know, in this body, how many elements are there? Five. There are five elements in this body: eh? earth, water, fire, earth. space, and earth. No, first the earth. earth. Eh? Eh? Disappear. Eh? This is the going on this. Eh? Nothing. But when Atma goes out, same eyes here. But you cannot see. Eh? This is true. No? Or now we are embracing to each other, kissing, embracing to each other. But when Atma soul goes out, why? Because soul, Atma is very, very minute. Minute and very 
small very small as like more than molecular and balagra sata bhago sata dha kalpita sacha bhago jiva sa ananta sacha kalpati then what is the space of the soul and if you divide it and that that soul resides in this body this body you are some miracle is going on and this is true and but soul going one body and another body is going traveling oh actual all we are travelers and not i am traveling eh all you are that mean atma soul travel one day one body to another body another body sometimes going horse body cat's body dog's body human body eh this miracle is going on well but how long will you stay eh according your previous footing of action karma the soul will stay in this body and again well eh how is it going on this way this way this way how will stop to travel when you attain to abode of lord eh? and suffering the three folds of maya all you are traveling and suffering sometimes you in this one travel means is what travel yeah. you understand travel means travel eh yeah. this thing goes people are saying you oh, are very nice but this is not true eh yeah. eh yeah. why i am traveling different countries going different different that is externally and you are happy but internally so much travel eh yeah. especially when we are coming this body and suffering many things eh yeah. three folds of maya all you are all we are the suffering the three folds of maya that is called adhyatmik adi daivik and adi bhautik some kinds of distress are coming from demigod demigodes that is called adi daivik devata eh kam adi bhautik some kinds of distress are coming from others living entities or uh, adhyatmik that is called some kinds of distress are coming from our mind in this way all we are suffering is eh understand sometimes our mental problem who has no mental problem eh <laughs> 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 you have mental problem problem or not yeah. <laughs> everybody will be say okay my body is good but my mind not good mental problem ha eh? why mental problem eh because all you want more and more happiness but that is not will get for this ka mind disturb Eh? Because this mind is very, very subtle. Also, subtle body. This body already I told. This body is called gross body. Inside this gross body, another body that is called subtle body. Eh? Subtle understand? Very thin, thin. That is called mind, intelligent, egos, and. chitta chitta mein dard ka impression sanskar that is called mon buddhi ankar chitta four things and inside the subtle body then that body is called atma sarir spiritual body there you have everything ha eh? but very very few person they know about and subtle body Are very very few person they know about atma sari. Eh? Sometimes we are saying, "Well, eh, my mind is not good." Eh? You are saying, "You know, mind disturb." You saying what we saying? Mind disturb. Why your mind disturb? And what is that things? 
eh? why because you want some things but that is not possible to get so the mind disturb but you want that is not possible to get eh? then mind disturb disturbance coming and mind is very very flickery also and flickery chanchalai manakrishna restless chanchalai manakrishna pramathi balvad didam not so easy to control the mind and mind always were eh? going this eh? this way then bayu rivas sudhaskaram as well as air air blowing sometimes this side sometimes this side and eh? and going this in the same way our mind is very flickery and you are sitting here your body is here but mind traveling around the world without ticket without passport or without visa and again coming back and again going this miracle is going on this eh huh? very quick mind going in here england america australia malaysia singapore eh huh? and it's going everywhere and european country america south america your whole world travel no need and your ticket very easy eh okay. no need visa eh and travel mind all your travel eh but if you not control your mind then problem will come god says the same you have to control your mind well how will you control your mind eh huh? two process you can control your mind first of all eh huh? are there two process हाँ अभ्यास है ना वैराग्य ने चल गई छती सिमात भागवत गीता गीत से भी देंगे टू ओएस यू कैन कंट्रोल योर माइंड इफ यू कंट्रोल योर माइंड देन एवरीथिंग इज़ यू आर हैप्पीनेस विल बी एंड ऑल योर प्रॉब्लम विल सॉल्व एंड पीपल आर सेइंग मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं इफ यू आस्क हैव यू एनी प्रॉब्लम्स और नॉट � Uh, body problem what is problem uh, knee. knee problem eh yeah. all many problems money problems money, wife problems yeah. husband <laughs> problems <laughs> honestly tell everybody else eh <laughs> eh yeah. boyfriend up problems girlfriend problems eh yeah. son's problem daughter's problem office problems eh yeah. Office problem is or not? Eh? Yeah? <laughs> eh? Yeah? Sometimes your boss problem is also. If you not eh um, properly and eh, do this, then your boss will be angry. This problem is there. In this material world, problem everywhere. Eh? Yeah? Without problem? Eh? Yeah? Without problem or not? The simple. Sometimes hot and sometimes cold. Eh? Yeah? Ice falling, eh? Here is here ice falling or not? Not so much. Eh? Here in Portugal, not so much. Are you summer or cold? Ice falling, ice falling. <laughs> not summer. Not so Sometimes also in England I saw also summer time also ice falling. Ice falling. Is it wrong? Eh? Why that change automatically? Yeah. Eh? Understand? Especially England, and eh, very quick weather weather change. Eh? Understand? Most of the time also I'm traveling the European country, no? And eh? actually I'm not staying in India. Most of the time I travel out of India. And eh? about ten months, once a year, ten ten months I am traveling out. Eh? The travel the whole country, whole world. And England, America, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Fiji, eh? Portugal. Understand? Yeah. New Zealand, Portugal. eh? Portugal. 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 <laughs> European country, eh? 
Actually, he told me he traveled also many countries. Eh? Eh? <laughs> then everywhere I'm going all this. Eh? Iceland. You went to Iceland or not? No. Oh, come. <laughs> Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, no, Iceland very nice. We went also last time. Yeah. Eh? Just one year. Eh? Yes. Okay. Sixth of June. I remember. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Iceland. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Very nice. Huh? Very nice. Very nice. It's good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, name Iceland, but I did not see the ice. <laughs> <laughs> <That time. laughs> Greenland, but completely ice. 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 <laughs> no <green. laughs> Person who made the map mistake wrote the whole opposite. When I arrived last time, then you go here. Name is called Iceland. What is the ice? <laughs> well, the ice will come in the January, February, March, December, and completely what? Ice. Huh? <laughs> but when last time also they are in Iceland. Eh? But there is no ice. They completely green, very nice. Eh? <coughs> so now coming in this way. Um, <clears throat> actually, I've discussed these things how to control our mind. Two ways we can control our mind. And if you control your mind, then all your problems will. Solve. Eh? You understand? If you control your mind, then all problems solve. Mind control, because mind is as like king. And eh? we have eleven senses. Eh? Pancha karmendra, pancha ganendra, and mind. And eh? if you control your mind, then all your senses automatically control. And eh? you read Simad Bhagavad Gita. Are the Bhagavad Gita or no? And you can see that the Bhagavad nice picture in there. And Arjuna, he seated on chariot. And Krishna, he drove the chariot. And how many horses there? Five. Eh? Six. Six. How many horses? In Bhagavad Gita? Five. Eh? Five, each one has one sense in the forehead, each course and the picture. In the picture. Huh? Then mind. Mind is very powerful. Okay? One who controls the mind, then you have no problem will come. This is very important. Okay? So for this regard, Arjuna, he asks to Krishna, yeah, how I will control my mind? Chanchali manak krishna pramati balabad didam. Hey. hey Krishna, hey my friend, tell to me, I will control my mind. Hey. Then Krishna very simple way told to him, two ways you can control your mind. That is called abhyas. Abhyas means practice. Eh? All our senses automatically going to the object of the senses. You understand? Eh? All our eh? senses going to the object of the senses. Eh? Our eyes are going here at the beautiful form. Eh? Our nose automatically except at the very nice, beautiful, sweet. Fragrance and excel. Ah, sweet. And bad smell coming, then you close the gram. These are true. A good smell coming, then ah, you excel. Eh? Our ears going in here, automatically going here. That's very nice, beautiful, sweet sound. Madhur Sar. Eh? One who plays guitar. Or harmonium, very nice. Or what is it called? And the instruments. You playing which instruments? Guitar. Guitar. Yes. Eh? Very sweet. Eh? Cello. Cello. Yeah, it's like a big violin. Big, big violin. violin. Ah. Good. Eh? 
And like when you are in, uh, in where is it called? In France? That they, they are in Saint Louis. Eh? That also then very nice beautiful thing. Could you remember you were there? What is called there? I don't know. Very nice beautiful thing. Eh? You were there? You with us? And in the front. Ah, nice beautiful. So I am saying because if you listen the sweet sound, then automatically the ears accept. And sound. And, and, and if anybody very rough, uh, rough word, I harsh words, or then this is very hard. Oh, too much. And, and, are your tongue punish what things? Taste. And, so all our that means all our senses automatically going to the object of the senses. But one thing is this, and if you control your mind, then your mind will, then everything you will solve. So how do how will do the control? So I again explain this word abhas and vairagya. Vairagya means a renunciation, detached. Eh? From these things. Eh? Abhyas means again again practice. Because automatically all your senses will go object of the senses. And that will also disturb your mind also. Eh? So that means cause of disturbance that is called you are. How you will not control your mind. If you control your mind, then everything will be solved. All problems will be solved. Eh? People are saying how we we'll solve our problems. Only only one process. Control your mind, then all problem will be solved. For the yogis, according to the yoga darshan, eh? they control their mind. There is no problem coming. Eh? Maybe you understand or not. I tell you one very small story, then you understand. Once one king declared and in front of his all subjects, he told, look, this goat, haven't you goat seen goat or not? Hear goat? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you understand goat? Cabra. 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 Boy, uh, boji. Boji. <laughs> Portuguese, they are saying boji. Yeah. <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> huh? Bam, bam, bam. Huh? Then king told, if anybody completely satisfied huh, by this goat, that means the goat has no any taste to eat. Huh? And completely satisfied. Then I will give lot of prize. Mm -hmm. eh? Big prize. Big prize I will give. Okay. Eh? But next morning I will see and eh? test this what is called goat has appetite to eat or not. And eh? if you eat too much, then automatically your appetite will not come. Eh? Understand it? So I will check tomorrow morning. Eh? Then I will give you big prize. Okay. So one person he brought that the goat in his house and he was feeding, feeding, feeding green grass. Goat ate everything. Eh? Then goat's stomach very big. Eh? As like football. Huh? Stomach. <laughs> Early in the morning. Eh, he brought that the goat in front of the king. Eh, king told, okay, my goat is completely satisfied or not. That means he has more appetite to eat or not. I will take test. Then king, he offered some green soft grass. Eh, then goat. <laughs> goat <shall take. coughs> 
Then king become very angry. Oh, still goat, he wants to eat, not completely satisfied. Eh? Then king kicked out. What? So I not. Then one sadhu came. Police sadhu told, "Okay, give me." Then, then sadhu, sadhu understand, central person. He brought that the boat in his place, and and next morning, sadhu he brought that the goat in front of king, and king offered some soft green grass, but goat not eating. Eh? When king offered the green grass, then goat turned his face this way. <laughs> eh? If you, if you have no appetite to eat, if I give, you go no 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 need more. This is wrong. Eh? Or if you are hungry, then if I give, you will give me more. In the same way, when king offered green grass, soft green grass to the goat, but goat not eating and turn his face opposite. But king noticed the goat's stomach completely what? Empty. Eh? Understand? Completely empty. Eh? Completely, what do you call it? Magri. And Magri in South Africa. Goat's stomach completely what? Empty. Eh? 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 Lean and thin. Then king asked, or oh, maybe you do know some ma mystic power, magic. Then Sadhu, no, I, do, I, I don't know any mystic power. So why this goat is not eating? I am looking this goat's stomach completely empty. But when offered the green grass, not eating. Tell to me. Then Sadhu, this simple way. Eh? That means the goat has no taste to appetite to eat. Simple. Then keep to okay, I understand. Tell to me why the goat is not eating. Then Sadhu told this is simple. Eh? Last night eh, I bought your goat in my place, but I did some practice with the goat. Because that is called sadhan. You understand? Sadhan means is a practice. Eh? Well, what you did? Well, I offered the green grass to the goat and simultaneously I took one stick in my hand. When goat used to go to eat the grass, then I'm showing the stick. Hey, don't eat. Then goat afraid. Eh? Every time was there. Whole night I practice with the goat. When goat used to go eat the grass, then we also stick. Hey. So that means you offer the green grass, goat is thinking maybe doctor, eh, king will beat me. This is the process. That means is what? All our senses automatically going to the object of the senses. But every time if you will control Control your senses. If you not control your senses, then disturbance will come. No jatu kamo kamen ubhagguna sammati. Enjoying the sense gratification, you will never happy. Because all our senses and to enjoy more and more and more. And this is the nature of the human. And, and they were never happy. Kamadinang kodita palita durni desa te sangjata mi jata trupan upajanti no upasanti. All our senses are not happy. They want to more enjoy the sense gratification. More and more. And for this regard, all we are suffering in this material world. And but you practice how to control your senses, how to control your mind. One who controls his mind, then everything he can control. And this is the process. And 
माइंड डिस्टर्बेंस मीन्स दिस वे एंड यू आर नॉट कंट्रोल योर माइंड कंट्रोल योर माइंड हाउ कंट्रोल योर माइंड अभ्यास अभ्यास मीन प्रैक्टिस एंड रिनाउंसिएशन वैराग्य ज्ञान वैराग्य अभ्यास है ना वैराग्य ने चो ग्रीष्मते देखिए तो प्रश्न एंड एंड चांद होली नेम्स हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे another thing i tell you you have to maintain your life then called jukta vairagya jukta vairagya means whatever you need you have to take that things not too much and not too less huh eh? you understand if you put the ghee in the fire the fire will be increase the flame of fire increase more and more they too wrong eh if you put the fire in, <coughs> if you, if you put the ghee in the fire fire will increase or not yes. give, give more 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 eh when you are to perform the fire sacrifice you no know? jagna what is it om indraya swaha eh om visakshanaya swaha and offering the ghee in the fire the flame of fire going up 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 in the same way and all our senses to enjoy more and more and more but you have to control this is the process of and eh? how, how much you need you accept or if you need too much then disturbance will come or if you less also you become very weak Huh? If we eat less, then we become very skinny also, and this is the process also. And so, Shastra, our scriptures explain this way: how much you eat, how much you sleep. If you sleep more, then, and you know, according to the Ayurvedic um, <coughs> Shastra, explain if you sleep too much. Then you lose your memory also, huh? And if you less sleep, also you lose your memory. Huh? You understand or not? Huh? If you study the and I will be just the same. Huh? Yeah. If you too much sleep, also your memory will be lose and. Because laziness will come. Are you less sleep? Then also lose your memory because you are not giving so much rest to your mind. Memory is less. Everything is you have to control. How to need? So English was saying what is saying? Ex, uh, what is it? Excessive is the cause of distress. Eh? What do you want? What do you mean by what? If you the Too much you have take, then and disturbance will come. Just give me an example. When you are traveling, and eh, your ticket showing how much, how much kilo? Twenty-three kilo. Are you twenty-five? Then pay and <laughs> and eh, eh, per kilo, and eh, ten euro. Huh? Eh? So that is your disturbance coming or not? Eh? If you less, no problem. They will not charge for you. Yeah. <laughs> eh? They don't give back. <laughs> they will not Discount. give back money. <laughs> eh? You understand what I am saying? The simple way: if you travel and the ticket written in there, how many you are? Maximum. Eh? Maximum. Maximum how many kilo you can checking? Written or checking? Twenty-three kilos, but twenty-five kilos. Or if you bring thirty kilos, then five kilo have to pay extra fee. And per kilo also that time or more than eh? your ticket. What is it called? Cost more than this coming. 
So the actual, the, I am saying this, the excessive is the cause of distress also. And if we eat too much, overeating, then your stomach problem will come. Eh? Gas create in blood. And eh? you cannot sleep. And eh? and or if you less eat, then you, you will become very skinny and also you cannot sleep <laughs> because you are hungry. Eh? Midnight you wake up, then you say you are hungry food. <laughs> eh? Less and over both also, both that is called the distress. Cause the cause of that distress. Problem will come. Eh? So that means is our scripture explain everything have to do balance, you know, proper way to do this. This is the best. Eh? Not too much or not too yes. less. Eh? Then everything will be controlled. So actual why I am saying that is called Jukta Ahar and Jukta Bihar. Eh? How much you need, you can accept these things. Not less and not more. Eh? And chant holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So that means Bhakti Yoga means this way. Eh? Not too less or not too much. Then eh? practice this way. Eh? And chant Lord's holy names, very simple way. Eh? And you chant more Lord Lord holy names. There is no bad effect will come. <laughs> what did he say? Chant more, no bad effect will come. No limit. Eh? No limit. There is no excess. Eh? There is no excess. <laughs> eh? But you have to eh? practice this way. Eh? If one day chant is 16 rounds or another chant is 64, another chant is eh? 96. No, you have to properly chant. This is also in the beginning, you have to chant properly. So, this is that is called a fixed round every day chant. You chant more, no problem. But every day, you have to chant fixed round. And understand, not less than 16 rounds. How many rounds? 16 rounds. Eh? You can chant more if you have time. But every day you have to chant 16 hours. Eh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Eh? Anand Krishna, he chants. How many rounds you are chanting? Eh? Two rounds. Okay, good, nice. Eh? Every day. Huh? Every day, one in the morning, one in the day. And also okay. Gopal Mantra. Huh? And Gopal Mantra chanting? Mm -hmm. ah, nice boy. Well, you Anantadi Bhagavan ki jai. Ananta Das. Ananta Krishna Das. What is your name? Fala. Ananta Krishna. Ananta Krishna Das. Not Bhagavan. He eh? is a servant of Krishna. Krishna is called unlimited. Ananta means here, unlimited. And Asim Ananta Krishna. Eh? Endless. Bhagavan. Eh? Nice boy. Eh? He is chanting holy names. And eh? in this way, everybody chant holy names. Eh? Because in this Kali Yuga, only Rindani chanting of the holy names, then everything will be solved. All problems will be solved. Eh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Just I want to speak few words, just I close and you do prepare for the Arati. Because today is very super excellent auspicious day. Today is called Hera Panchami, you know, Jagannath Ratha Jatra. Eh? 
started on second days from the new moon eh, are now the <coughs> which day the fifth days eh, that is called hera panchami hera means to search panchami panchami means fifth days from the ratha yatra eh, that means jagannath he started then that means he proceed to kurukshetra to <coughs> brindavan or jagannath temple to gundicha temple that is called second day from new moon eh? ditya or now to the fifth days so you know ditya tritya chuti panchami shasti then six days from new moon then eh? But this is called the Panchami means is the five and eh, five days from eh, started Ratha Yatra. Then eh, you know Jagannath Dev, and eh, he did this lila that he was very he became very sick because he took bath and eh, sour bath when eh, too much sour bath. So he became very sick. That is called Sran Yatra. Then Lord Jagannath and eh, He is from a high fever, and also what is called nose running. Eh, yeah? understand? And two weeks he did not give darshan inside the temple. Then close. After two weeks, then then he is thinking, I have to change my weather. I have to go somewhere. And in this way, Lord Jagannath, then he performed his lila. Then Lord Jagannath. He told his Lakshmi Devi, "I will go somewhere, but where will go? Somewhere. Eh? He did not say, 'I am going Gundicha Temple or somewhere.' He told, what did he say? Somewhere. Understand this? Eh? Because I am sick, eh? and have to change weather, climate, and eh? and staying one room. Eh? You will stay one room." And twenty-four hours, your mind will disturb or not? Yeah. And more sickness will come. Sometimes you have to go morning walk, and the fresh mind will come. And our scripture also explains every day you have to morning walk. And understand? If you do morning morning walk, then eighty percentage of your disease disappear, and and all problems will solve for you. Eh? You understand? Every day you have to do morning work, and eh? at least thirty eh? minutes or forty minutes. Eh? Then you can see the day. Every day you the habit. Eh? I am traveling all a whole of the world, but still I also every day I used to go morning work. Eh? At least forty minutes, thirty minutes, one hour. Eh? Morning work. Then you can see. Your mind will be very fresh. Mind will come. Eh? Other as we are staying in one room, twenty-four eh? hours staying one room, then mind is disturbed. Eh? So why am I saying because Lord Jagannath he told this way. Eh? The fourteen days I was in only one room, and I have to change weather. But where is going? And sometimes you are going. Where are you going? For the celebration of honeymoon. What is saying? Anniversary. Anniversary. Marriage. Marriage. No, no. They going after marriage. People are going with their couple. Honeymoon. <laughs> going or not? Yes. Huh? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you are going? Huh? To. Change your mind. Change. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Very nice way that. Huh? Understand? Huh? You know because after uh, management, so many responsibilities come or not? Huh? So it is better to first we celebrate. <laughs> what? What is it? Honeymoon. 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 Ah, very nice. 
Eh? Where are you going? Anuma? Have you been there? Surinam. Surinam. Where are you going? Switzerland. Greenland. And Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> no, Iceland going. Huh? Nice. Iceland, Switzerland, Greenland, eh? Many lands. And Finland. Many lands. Eh? You go. People are going also. Eh? To enjoying the, this. Eh? Wife and husband. But with their families, they're going. Change. Very nice. Eh? So I am saying just. Jagannath, he told, just I am to going somewhere to change my mind and climate. Especially need or change climate. Eh? I am going. But where are you going? Not. Eh? But Lakshmi Dvi, she is very clever. Eh? The consort of Jagannath. Lakshmi Dvi, where he is going? Eh? Understand? She has also and one spy. Spy, you understand? Why we are going? Okay. Yes. In this way, five days pass. Yes. You have known? Rasyatra, Lord Jagannath traveled which day? Second day from the new moon. Yes. And now today is what? Six days from the new moon. Yes. So now five days almost finished. But there are no any message. Eh? Where is he gone? And eh? if your husband has gone somewhere, then eh? sometimes you have to give message or not? Otherwise, wife will wife mind will be disturbed or not? What do you think? Eh? You have to give some message. You I am arrived here, they are the, the, these things. Eh? Tell you someone very small. Joke. Eh? Eh? One, one's wife, eh? his wife left body. Eh? Then his wife and eh? body also buried in according to the system. Then when he returned back his home, and eh? understand about evening time. Eh? Then one message has come in his mobile. What message has come? Yeah, I, now I am here, very nice, beautiful place. Within few days, I will also bring you in my place. Then his mind will disturb. Huh? <laughs> that means his work. That means my wife who my eh? left body you will bring me. <laughs> Actually, that that the message is the wrong message, you know. Sometimes you remember. <laughs> what is the wrong message? And same time, one lady, married lady, and she got one job and in the town. And village lady, she is now got the job. Eh? Town. And she get this message, she also sent this message to her husband. Oh, now this place is very nice. I arrived very nicely. Eh? And here everything is very nice, beautiful. And also, within a couple days, eh? I will bring you this place. After that lady, she, she sent this message her husband. But it was sometimes also her. Eh? Wrong number. And going to another part. <laughs> The same way, this message is coming from where? <laughs> from her husband. <laughs> this way. Uh, just I also explain this way. Uh, if you not give message to your wife, yeah, I arrived here, then wife mind would be disturbed or not? Yeah. It's simple. Uh, understand? You are coming from, where are you coming from? Chile. Chile. Uh, okay, arrived in here. Then you have to write to your wife, but give message. And nowadays, eh? very easy. Yeah. What is it called? What's up, sir? Eh? What's up? What's up? What's up? Eh? Send message. Hey, I'm, mm -hmm. eh? I safely arrived and everything is very good. He never sends. <laughs> <laughs> he never sends messages. 
So because for he is he is always taking with you. So. Ah. <laughs> Send to whom? Then, because you are with him, eh? together. So send to message to whom? Eh? He sends a message to me. Will I arrive very nice? Good or not? Huh? This is our. This is your true. And if you not send the message to your wife, then wife mind will be disturbed. Why? Because wife she has love and affection with her husband. If her love, if you love someone, eh, this has so much disturbance coming. Eh, this is the nature. Bandhunanam. Our shastra explain this way. If you really love someone, automatically mind disturbance. Why? Because you're thinking, and eh, he arrived safely or not. Eh? If your son is going to England, eh? understand? If your son arrived in England, what do you expect? Except you are expected you are. How my son arrived safely or not? So you are just saying it. When my son listen, when you arrived in London, you have to send message to me. Eh? It's simple. Eh? Nowadays, eh? modern science so advanced. When you arrive in London, then easy to uh, write. And uh, answer, mother, and I safely arrived. Uh, no problem, nothing, no delay, not anything. And on time, I arrived. Then mother mind would be calm and quiet or not. Yeah. Then mother she always thinking, my son arrived safely or not. Uh, any problem or not. This is the thing. If you love someone, Eh? That's the nature will come. Eh? This is the thing. Eh? You want this. Thing. But here, Jagannath, eh? five days, he did not send any message to the wife, Lakshmi Devi. So for the Lakshmi Devi become very angry. Eh? Now she's thinking, I have to give punishment. Those were the servant of my servant. Hey, my husband. Eh? So Lakshmi Devi. Eh? She also dressed a very nice, beautiful dress. And sitting on very nice, beautiful golden chariot. Eh? This is a very nice Dolai chariot. Eh? Understand? That time also Palanku. Palanku understand? Eh? And very nicely she seated. And she chewing the betel nut. Eh? Understand? And when she was going, Lakshmi Devi, because she is queen of Vaikuntha, Lakshmi Devi. Eh? And many her maid servants fanning, taking chamar this way. Eh? And she is going. Eh? And she arrived eh? in that place where Jagannath is there. Eh? Very nice, beautiful katha. Time is very over, time is over, but this katha is very sweet. Jagannath. Eh? That is called Hera Panchami. Hera means to search. Your hair is my husband. What is doing there? And she become very angry. Eh? This thing. Maybe tomorrow we will discuss. Eh? Eh? This Hera Panchami katha. Very sweet all. Eh? Because today is super excellent auspicious day. Eh? It is called Hera Panchami. Hera means to search. Panchami means five days from eh? Rathya Yatra. Eh? Because here is love. Love means this way. Eh? If you have loved someone, then your mind will be disturbed. Well, what happened? Why is he not giving message? How is he? Because Lord Jagannath told, eh? I am sick and I have to change my... Eh? My mind changed my climate. But here, where is going? Where is staying there? Eh? But no message. For this regard, Lakshmi Devi, she became very angry and she is going to punishment. Those who are the servant of Jai Jagannath. Paravinda Van Vihari Lal Jai Jai Sri Ram. 
Balu Govinda Balu Hari Gopala Golu Govinda Nine Thirty Mero Radha Ramana Giri Dhari Giri Dhari Sam Bano Ari Mero Radha Hello, Radhe Radhe Radhe, Jai 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 Sri Radhe 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 Radhe, Jai 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 Sri Radhe. Hello, Radhe 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 Jai 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 Sri Radhe 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 Jai 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 Sri Radhe. Ah, just I last. Also tell to you, everybody keep tulsi mala around and tulsi neck beads around your neck. Allah put to you. Understand? Who has tulsi mala? You have that tulsi? What is it? One. One. Huh? <laughs> okay. I need. I need one. Okay, I will give you. Okay, after Aruti, everyone will give you. Huh? Ah, you are broken. Okay, now you give a new one. He was fixing many times. Huh? He break one time, he fix and break again. It was becoming small. No, no, I will give you again. We're going to give you a new one. And also chant holy names and be happy. Yeah. Okay? Okay? If you want happiness or not? Yeah. If you chant holy names, be happy. The simple way. And you can stay with your friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, father, wife, children, with your friends, no problem. But you chant holy names. Eh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Eh? Here they also, he chanting holy names, he is happy. She chanting holy names, she is happy. <laughs> huh? They are also chanting very nice, poor Tilak. Her Tilak is very nice. Huh? Shining or not? Your Tilak. Good also. Huh? So I request to you also try to put the Tilak marsh on your forehead. Huh? Understand? It is very important. Spiritual life means this. Huh? How to put Tilak, Kanti Mala. Huh? Tilak, understand? Tilak marks. The many Lord resides in your body. Eh? This is the thing. And Kanti Mala Tulasi is very important. Eh? The Lord accept you. And two kinds of dogs. One is called street dog and another is called or which dog? House, house, Pet dog, house dog. <laughs> and the street dog running here and there. Eh? But your house dog, something put the color. That means that house, that dog belongs to you. In the same way, if you put the tulasi, drink bed, that means you are belongs to God, Krishna. It's simple. Eh? Eh? And if you not put the tulasi mala around your neck bed, that means you are belongs to Maya. So what do you want? You belongs to God or belongs to Maya? God. What do you want? God, you, so what is God, I will simply this word, everybody have to put Tulasima. Eh? If you put Tulasima, that means God, everybody say, oh, he belongs to Krishna, he belongs to God. Then eh? here all the devotees look, very nice Tulasima, he has nice, eh? yes, he has very nice Tulasima, eh? and eh? spiritual life means this way, chant holy names, be happy. You can stay in your house, no problem. Eh? But everybody can follow these principles. Four principles. Not eat meat, fish, onion, garlic. Eh? Understand this? Eh? Plain, plain, what is it called? Plain living and high thinking. Eh? Simple. Eh? And chant holy names. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Now Arati and take Mahaprasad 
Mahaprasad means we offer to Lord. And that Lord's remnants is called Mahaprasad. Eh? Prabhuji, they are also arranged very nice Mahaprasad. Okay. Everybody, please stand up. Then Arati. Then hello. Kiva Jaya Jaya Gura Chandi Naruti Kosu Bha Kiva Jaya. Hey, Baba. Gura Chandi.
हाँ फला जय जय श्री 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 गुरु गुरु गौरंग गौरंगी राधा विनोद बिहारी जीव की महामहत्मी तिथि पालन करे भक्त बिंद की बहुत प्रेमान बोलो शिला गुरुदेव पति का पावन की जाय बोलो निताय गौरा प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि 